Hello and welcome back to the Geek and B. I am the B Bianca. Hello. So this video is my New York Comic Con haul. So I made a whole video. Of, hopefully you guys have seen it already. If not, you can check it out. Where I just talked about my my New York Comic Con weekend and I showed you my outfits that I wore for those days. I went for two days and then just just a very uh, that I did the panels and. Shows you pictures and videos of everything. So yeah, so this video is going to be my haul for New York Comic Con. Normally I tend to go crazy this year. Surprisingly, I did not go that crazy. I'll show you guys what I got. The few things. So first off, uh, I talked about in my video. I went to a few panels at the Hammerstein Ballroom. And they had some free merch they gave off in the beginning of the panel. Before the one I wanted to go to, I sat in another one that they had beforehand. And they gave us, it was a Shiva panel for the new Netflix show. And it actually looks pretty interesting, so I might check it out. So they gave us these cool uh, swords, which is pretty sick. Uh, they're like cardboard, but they're actually still pretty well done. So we got that. And then they also gave uh, these tiara crowns. I haven't taken mine out, but it's like a headband. And you just put it on your head just like her. So you look just like her. So that was something I got for free, by the way. Then I went to a panel with the orig the Origins panel with to see Tom Felton, of course. And they also gave these out, which were super cool. The t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, of like the shirts they wear in the show themselves. So they have like this information on it, and then it talks about it in the back. Unfortunately, I haven't tried it yet. And it's also by American Apparel. Ooh, very fancy. I gotta try the sizing. Uh, what happened was when I went to go get it, they, the lady was like literally screaming. We have no, whatever we have there is there. We have no more larges or extra larges. And they got like one box of larges, which I find is retarded because so they had tons of smalls and mediums. So I ended up just taking a medium because I got tired of hearing her voice of constantly screaming. Like she had attitude. That's all I have to say. Uh, so I got this, and I think it would fit me. It might be a men's. So if it's a men's medium, I think I'll, I'll fit it. I'm a little bit of a thick girl, so I'm just happy. Uh, so yeah, so I'm just happy to have gotten it. It's super cool, and I can't wait to check out the show for sure. So that's also for free. And then I actually bought stuff. <laughs> All right, so first thing is one I've been wanting to get for uh, like a good two years now. I saw it originally two years ago at the toy fair and they never came out during the last year and then sort of again this year and it's a figure from a harry potter figure from qfig so i have one already and this one's different and i'll show you this because the lighting is messing it up so it's harry on the broom flying so you have like a little bit of a flying thing on the bottom he's in his his hogwarts uh uniform with the scarf and he has his wand that's like shooting out powers which is super sick, and I've always wanted this. It was either this or Hermione, and I decided to get this one because I've been wanting this for a while. And it looks so good. It was like 15 bucks. It wasn't even that expensive. So I'm super happy I got it. It was so awesome. I loved it. Then, uh, when we were walking around the show floor, most of the stuff I got on the show floor, obviously, I, uh, I saw an artist, and they had this really cool stuff. It's called Hand Over the Hero. And he had a bunch of things where he had a bunch of characters where it was like some someone holding it. So uh, they had arts and like stickers and I fell in love with this green one. I was not expecting to see it and he just looks so sick. Oh my god. So I got the sticker. It was a decent size and I got my sister a Pennywise one. And some of them had like specific hands holding them obviously. You would know this is just like a basic hand. But I had to guess get Ghostface. It just looks so freaking cool. Like, come on. So I got that. I got this art from Katie Cook, I believe it was. And I've gotten a few other ones from her in the past years. And I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys it when I do like a whole video of all my art. But she makes these really nice little paintings. And I got this one of Harry Potter and I had to like, I couldn't, I always ask for like Disney or Harry Potter if they have any. And I couldn't walk away. It says, Master has given Dobby a sock. And it's one of Dobby with a sock. Isn't it adorable? I couldn't walk away and not get him. So I got him. Then I won this. I went to the Jelly Belly uh, booth. And they had like, you spin a wheel. And either you, get a, you pick a jelly bean where you go. And you have to see which one you get. 
a good one, a bad one, or you win a prize. I won a keychain, which was pretty cute. Then uh, I told you I went to this thing at the Audible booth, and it's a pensive thing, so you get a potion bottle. You took the potion bottle and loved it. It's a gorgeous potion bottle. I picked Severus Snape as my person for the pensive, and then it just says um, Harry Potter 20 Years of Magic, Audible, Pottermore Publishing. So that was super cool. I was able to get, and what I want, and it opens to. So I, what I want to do is get like some type of silver metallic liquid and put it in as if it's a real like maybe like a drop because you know how he does like the teardrop uh to do that because i think that would be super sick to do for sure then i got this pin there was one huge pin uh thing which i was really looking forward to seeing hoping seeing more pin sections they had this one huge pin section where they had all these like disney pins uh, so I got this one. It's Ariel's purse. They made like a whole bunch of these like purses and um, bags in ornament form. And then they also made them as pins. So I got the pin version of it, which is the cutest thing ever. It's the only one I got. Then I went and I got this magnet. I'm a huge person for magnets. And I got this magician's magnet. I have a whole bunch on my fridge that holds up a bunch of the photo booth um, strip photos that I love to take. I have a whole bunch of me and my family all taking that. So this is one to add to my collection on my fridge, The Magicians. It's an awesome show. I love it. I can't wait for the new season to start. Do you guys like The Magicians? If not, you should watch. It's on sci-fi. Ah, oh, so good. Went to the HBO shop. They had like a whole display thing going on there with Funko, which one thing I wanted to do was this shirt I saw at the toy fair that I went to and wanted to see if they had it. And they did. Is this Daenerys Targaryen shirt with the dragon back of her, and she looks beautiful. It's the cutest thing. I saw it at the toy fair, at the the Funko booth, and I was hoping they have it because I saw a like a, a pint glass with this design. So I went there, and they did have it. So I was super duper excited about it to have gotten this one because it's beautiful. They always have these um guides, uh to New York Comic Con giving you all the details and everything about New York Comic Con with maps and everything so I collect you so I got one of these one thing that sucks is that they had a Joker one when I went on Thursday and when I went on Saturday they had Batman I kind of prefer the Joker one but what can you do it's still pretty sick though then I talked about seeing an artist and I get a print for her almost every single year and I went this year and got this so her name is Destiny Blue. She makes this awesome stuff. And what draws me to her is the, the way she uses colors. Look at that. And it's called Fight for Your Stripes. And I find it to be incredibly beautiful. So I'm adding it to my collection. It's actually, I normally get the bigger ones, but I got a smaller one this year. And it's just beautiful and amazing. I love the coloring, the way she does with the blues and all the neons and everything. Oh my god, you have to see the other stuff she makes. It's amazing. And she's the super nicest person ever. I have all the artists I've met when I've gone to Artist Alley. She's like the, the first, there's, there's a few, but she's like the nicest one out of all. She's super sweet and so nice. And I love I love her. She's great. So yeah, that's that. I have one more thing. Um, There's this thing I've always wanted to get online i've seen online from like instagram and everything i've always debated but it's kind of pricey especially with shipping and everything so i never bought it and then i didn't know how it really looked in person so i didn't want to buy it not knowing what it looked like so it's an it's called it's from moon glow it's actually a a necklace so i'll show you they do this thing have like this uh jewelry thing with the faces of the moon so you could pick any moon you want or you could use the one do the moon of your actual the day you were born you can actually find out and you can get they have all different type of designs of let me take this off they have all different type of designs you can do in bracelet form and multiple moons and i was just walking past and i automatically recognize the logo and i'm like oh my god i can't believe it i've been wanting to get something from them and i did and I'm super excited to have gotten it. It is beautiful. My moon is a full moon. I was actually born on the night of a full moon, which is the coolest thing ever. Me, I find myself to be more spiritual than religious. So I've always felt a connection to the moon, especially the full moon. And the coolest thing is one of the reasons 
why is I guess it's because I was born on the night of a full moon. So I got this one and it's very pretty and it has full moon. One thing that also is cool is that it glows so it charges in the light if you charge it a little bit. I don't know how to show you, but it glows blue and it's completely beautiful and I love it. I'm so happy to have gotten it. Ah, oh, it's my, my favorite piece of jewelry right now. So yes, that was my haul. Like I said, I didn't get too, too much. I normally go a bit crazy. But this year, I actually did not go all that crazy. It was a great time. If you guys want to hear all about it and see pictures of the panel and videos and stuff like that, check out the video I did on it to see all that special stuff. But yeah, that was my haul from New York Comic Con 2018. I pretty much go every single year. It's super duper fun, especially if you're a geek. Uh, I, I love going there to see the cosplay and see the art, and then I mainly go for like TV and movie stuff, not really comics. So I had a great time. It was super cool. Did any of you guys go to New York Comic Con? If so, did you guys enjoy yourself? Did you have a good time? What was your favorite thing from New York Comic Con? My favorite thing was seeing Tom Felton, uh, who plays Draco from Harry Potter. I tell you all about it. He looked beautiful. And uh, it was so cool. We had a moment together as well, which was really nice. Uh, if you guys want to know about that, watch the video I made about it. And also, if you got anything, what is your favorite item that you got from New York Comic Con this year? My favorite item would have to... It's a mix. I love everything. But my most favorite thing would have to be the necklace, only because I've been dying to looking for it, wanting to get it for like, the longest time ever. And... Uh, it just it just so happened to be there, and I'm so happy to find it. So yes, yeah, so that was my favorite thing. Um, my second would probably be this, and then this, and then the shirt. I loved everything, truthfully. Um, so yes, okay. So thank you guys so much for watching again. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.